Okay, welcome back to Wolf County Wolves Esports action here between uh, Wolves White and Henry Clay. This is match two, so let's take a look at our champion selection. They instantly banned that Alawi and Vagar, which is a very strong ban, considering that Alawi did end up doing a lot during the team fighting phase of last game. Unfortunate loss, but you know, what can you do? And Henry Clay also bans Jax and Misfortune again, taking out one of Matt's and Blake Halsey's better champions in their champion pool for sure. And they take out Brand in their mid laner as well. So, similar bans coming from the last game, at least for the white team, as we see. Brand or Vagar being banned, but everybody else has left up that they banned previously. Now, Henry Clay bans Dylan Prophet's Blitzcrank again, along with like all these misfortune and jacks on Matt. Blake Blackburn does pick the Kaiser for Blake. Oh, that's a fun saying, Blake Blackburn for Blake. He picks it for the ADC. They pick in Darius. They banned Darius last time, so it'll be interesting to see what actually happens here. If Blake Halsey or Blake Blackburn is going to be able to hold his own. Katarina is also left left up, and they pick Katarina as well. That's going to be two hard carries on Henry Clay's team. But if they if White team just gets a lot of crowd control, they're going to be able to shut him down. Now Matt does end up picking the Zin Zhao again. Very strong pick from him last game see what Henry Clay's last pick is and Logan picks in the Thresh for Dylan Prophet which is definitely one of his better champions along with Blitzcrank and Leona so we'll see what ends up happening in this game and they're, they end up picking Sivir again they had a strong performance on Sivir last game so we'll see if they're able to make it work again and they did not play Darius or Katarina like, like I said so I have no idea what to expect coming out from them this game Henry Clay ends up banning Blake's Urgot, which is very unfortunate for Blake Blackburn. Excited to see what Blake Blackburn actually ends up pulling out. He ends up banning Rek'Sai, which was their jungler from last game, and he did a lot around the map. He was able to do a lot of work. And they end up banning Galio for, for Logan as well, so I'm excited to see what Blackburn and Logan's going to end up picking whenever they have two of their champions picked out. And white team bans Braum, which was Henry Clay's support from last game. They end up picking Jarvan, it looks like, for the jungle if they do lock him in. They end up, they do end up locking in J4, so it's going to be a tough matchup for them. J4 has a lot of crowd control. Whiteside so far does not have very much crowd control. And Zeg coming out at full AD. And Malphite. Malphite does have a lot of crowd control, and so does Thresh, but I'm not sure how much that's going to be, especially considering you have a Zed. And Leona does look like it's going to come out for Henry Clay. Leona does actually come out. So, that's going to be a Leona, Sivir, bottom lane, Katarina in the mid lane, Jarvan in the jungle, and Darius in the top lane. Darius is getting ghosts, so again, no global pressure from Henry Clay. It did work out for him last game, but let's see how it'll work for this game. Now, in white team, we have the Thresh, Kaiser bottom lane, Zed mid, Zen Zhao jungle, and Malphite top. Malphite's definitely going to be a strong laner for Blake, as long as he can make it past the landing phase versus Darius. And as long as that Darius doesn't end up getting too many kills, it should be an okay game. It's going to be two assassin mid lanes versing each other, so we'll see how that plays out as well. be interesting to see how uh, Wolves White adapt to last game's results and see if they're able to come out swinging this time and uh, maybe change the outcome. Okay, so we're just now getting ready to enter our three-minute delay phase, so we need to wait... Uh, about three minutes for the spectator delay. 
we'll go ahead and uh, go over our starting lineup here. Uh, same as last match. Our top laner is Blake Blackburn. Our ADC is Blake Halsey, and his support is Dylan Prophet. In mid lane, we've got Logan Creech, and up jungle, we've got uh, Matt Riley. We go ahead. Excited to see what this game entails. We have a different lineup from both teams. The white team actually did not face a single Sony champion. Sad Sin Zhao, and neither did Jimmy Clay on the server. Hmm. There's, there's, something there's no mic right here for some reason. Maybe that's why. Uh, we also want to take this time to thank our sponsors, uh, Appalachian Wireless, Mountain Telephone, Licken Valley Rural Electric, Farmers and Traders Bank, Whitaker Bank, and Sweet Art by Stephanie. So, let's go back to our champ select here. We've got about two minutes until the match starts. Good luck to the white team. and Hopefully they can secure this win and see how it goes. Now it does seem like Henry Clay was talking a lot of smack in the comments, so very inappropriate to do, especially on a school stream, especially for Play Versus and KHSAA. I'm not sure why you would choose to do so. Certainly a bannable offense for Play Versus. Well, excited to get into this game and see just how everything like see just how everything goes. J4 is going to be interesting. He's certainly fairly strong in the jungle right now. Darius in the top lane, definitely a strong laner. Opposed to Malphite, who's more of a late game team fighter. A lot of white team's team, however, is focused on just getting those picks. And with the Zed, we don't have very much team fighting power. So we'll see just what happens. Look, have fun to both teams, and we'll start loading in here in just one second. Spectator delay now is over, so we're just waiting to see if see, or we're just waiting to start loading in. We are starting to load in now. As I mentioned before, good luck to both teams and currently loading in and it's going to be a fun game. As you can see, we are loading in. Take just a moment, but we'll be right back into the game. same inspirations are secondary which is what a lot of ADC seem to be running now. Fresh versus Leona both have aftershock. No guardians are taking this game. It's gonna be tough team fighting for both teams. Darius with the Conqueror and Jarvan 4 with the Electrocute. Katarina also has Electrocute. And in top lane we see Blake's Malphite with Summon Airy. Very interesting to see. And Zen Zhao with Hell Blades again. Zed with Electrocute, Kaisa with Press the Attack, and Thresh with Aftershock. Okay, so here we go. Jumped into the match really quickly. We're actually about 18 seconds behind. For some reason, we uh, we just now get into the match up here.
So this time the Wolves White will be the blue team. So the team with uh, blue bars. And it looks like quite a few people lining up here by the river. May try to see some action early on. And both teams patiently waiting till the uh, 130 mark. So Henry Clay getting that red buff and Wolfgang Wolves White getting that blue buff down towards bot lane. How do I get that to stay? Mm -hmm. Looks like blue or white team did end up going in on their bottom lane, but they did not get a kill. Did not get any summoners either. This Henry Clay team is very good about not wasting any summoner spells. And Katarina seemed to be trying to poke out that Zed a little bit as well. And Blake in the top lane. Already down to half health against that Darius. It's going to be very tough. He does flash out. Darius misses his Q, which saved his life. He's going to have to play very passive this game to win this lane. Sin Zhao is just going about his normal clear, as is Jarvan. Jarvan actually has a little bit of a lead on him in the clear. Logan flash gets Katarina east to him, gets ignited. Also flashes, gets an auto attack, and they do get the kill on Logan. That's first blood to Henry Clay. Very sad for Logan. Katarina does have very good early and late game pressure, so not too surprising that she was able to capitalize on a mistake. Jarvan. Matt does spot out Jarvan. He does not seem to want to go on him. He does know that Darius could mow him down as he has the lane pressure. Blake has very little mana. Jarvan is just going back to clearing, and so is Matt. Blake is getting traded out by the Darius. Has full stacks of bleeds on him. Three, sorry. And it's very low. And Henry Clay jumping out to a uh, 1,200 gold lead already at four and a half minutes into the game. Well, Swat's really going to have to work on that, that gold. Well, Swat, bottom lane is going fairly even, despite the Sivir does spell shield the Thresh hook. Thresh isn't able to get anything off on him. Apparently 0-1 to one in kills. Blake did just use a teleport. He's already used a good chunk of his mana on Darius. And he's continuing to do so. Henry Clay is women that win in the farm game as well. They're going to have to step it up if... Uh... Darius is getting a lot of damage on Blake. He's dropped below half health, and, he might, and he's going to continue to fall from the, from the Darius hemorrhage. So he's playing very aggressive, and Blake is out of mana again. Full slot bottom lane is playing... Fairly passive, but still pushing up another time with your height. Looks like 
go in, took a little bit of damage on him, and Matt is extremely low on him. Darius does get another pull on Blake, gets him down fairly low again. Blake better be careful or else he's going to get uh, get killed in this next hit. Blake has had a severe arm disadvantage against Darius. Fresh so tries another Q, Sivir does spell shield it again. She's being very good at getting these spell shields. What they're going to have to do to bait out a spell shield is use Kai's W and then use the threshold. able to go in on him at all because of how well the Sivir is pushing. It looks like Jarvan is trying to come in for a gank. He's going behind him. He is going in. Jarvan may be able to get a successful gank off. And they don't see they him. They have a stun. The rush liner is there. They get out safely. Blake Halsey does flash for it. Henry Clay isn't able to get anything down in bot lane besides a flash, which is very unfortunate for white team, but certainly better than dying. Darius is going in again. Blake is opting to trade for him, trade with him. And Matt is there. They're going in on Darius. Blake has full, all the stacks on him. They, they, they are going to get Darius. Good job with white team. Katarina does get a solo kill on Zed, however. Bottom lane is probably going to back soon. Jarvan is hovering towards Matt's red side jungle. Doesn't end up coming in to take anything, but he may be starting Dragon, and it appears that he will be starting Dragon. Just kidding. He's not. Being very indecisive. They are looking like they're going to try to two-man Matt's red buff. They do see him. Matt does not know that they're there. He does get caught out. Looks like Matt is going to die, and he does get taken down. Blake is hard pushing top lane, though, to make up for white team's mistakes. But Darius has found him in top, but he has not been able to go in on him. Blake's out of mana and does not have teleport, so he cannot teleport anywhere. And Henry Clay about to get the Drake here. Henry Clay has gotten the first Drake. The Cloud Drake. They are up 2.2 thousand gold on the white team, which is detrimental at this point of the game. It's only eight minutes in. White team has fallen down in farm. Each member of white team has fallen down in farm. has been much going on besides in mid lane. Katarina does have three kills now. It's going to be very scary to fight that Katarina at any point in the game. White team is pushing this bottom tower, but they decide to back off. Thresh does throw a hook. It lands, but the Sivir does spill shield it yet again. They're going to have to do something to bait out that Sivir spell shirt or they're never going to be able to get an engage. Katarina is going in to get a little, good little poke, poke. Takes off a quarter of Logan's health. Blake Blackburn does get caught out. He's fighting the Darius. Doing a good bit of damage, but he's taking a lot of damage himself. Darius does have the five stacks of hemorrhage off on him now. He's taking a lot of damage. He has to flash out Darius ult. He's, he gets one more auto attack on him, but Blake does look like he's going to live if he stays back. He does end up actually going down to the bleed. Thresh does throw into the cube and Sivir spell shield it yet again. Jarvan is coming behind bottom lane again, but they do spot him out and they do end up backing off. Tags does throw a W and hit Jarvan. It doesn't do any damage. Logan has a flash shot there. Good flash by him. He would have died otherwise. Darius is getting a very free push on top lane. No pressure there whatsoever. He's already taken two banners. Just now got his third banner. Or second banner, sorry. Sinja does look like he's going to try to gank Darius. Blake will be there, but not just yet. If Matt does try to go in right now, they should be able to get a gank off. But Blake will be just a little bit late to the party. He's going in. He's getting a lot of damage off of Darius. Blake is coming in. He ultis in. Gets the ulti. They do end up finding the Darius. Good job by Matt for coordinating that gank. I should just throw a W out, but it hits no one besides the cat or the cannon minion. Thresh tries to get a hook. He barely misses by the skin of his teeth. Bottom lane from Henry Clay is going in. They do end up getting Blake Halsey. 
threshold of Q in the wrong direction. Very unfortunate. Probably just a misclick. They are going to continue pushing. Jarvan is at a severe health disadvantage, and Katarina does end up getting the Hexite Gunblood passive, and, and Sivir picks up the kill with her Q. They have one banner on this bottom lane turret now, and they're soon to get their second. That is now a approaching 5k gold disadvantage before a half thousand gold disadvantage. They have three plates on that bottom lane tower now. It's going to be a lot of gold. It's 160 gold each. So Blake Blackburn is pushed to back, but he has full health, so he might decide to stay, and he does. Darius is there. Looks like Darius already has his Black Cleaver. And Malphite has his it's almost a Sunfire Cape. Logan, Logan does decide to check, check that. He ultimates her, but he's, he's not, not able to get anything. anything. Matt does continue going again. It's very risky for Matt. He ends up flashing away, but Darius is there, but it does not matter because Katarina did get the kill. Katarina certainly does seem to be one of this Henry mid or one Henry Clayton mid laner's best champions. He's able to play very aggressive, and they're getting two plates at least on that mid lane tower as well. That's two plus plates on each tower for Henry Clay. And Blake does teleport, but he's not able to get anything out of it. He does protect that next tower plane, though. Jarvan is coming in bot lane. Leona does go in. Dylan Prophet does get caught out. He does end up dying. They don't use any summoner spells on either side. Katarina might try to dive this uh, Malphite where he does not have any magic resist yet. It's the Q on Darius. They have nearly a third plating done on that mid lane tower. So they now have three plating or two platings on two of the towers except for bottom lanes where they have three. It's going to be a lot of gold with 160 each. Putting them to a near 6,000 gold advantage. Now Blake... Blackburn does get caught out, and so does Logan. Logan Dub's going down. Blake Blackburn might get the kill on Darius. Does not look like he will, and he does end up going down as well. Jarvan flashes away from Matt, and Matt ends up just signing back away. Or Matt flashes away from Jarvan. No, it was Matt. It was Jar Matt. Jarvan flashes away from Matt. Sorry. And they are going for the dragon. Jarvan is very low, but they do have five members of the team there, so it's going to be very hard for what team to steal this. It does not look like they even know that it's going on. So Dragon does end up falling to Henry Clay. So 11 kills a 2 with 2 Cloud Drakes. And a 6,000 gold advantage. Yep. And the farm on Henry Clay is soaring above the white team's farm. Very unfortunate. They're pushing bottom lane. But they have... Or they're working on getting their fourth banner. Well, the tower's... Uh, shields will fall here in less than 30 seconds, about 20 seconds at this point, so uh, I'm, I'm afraid Henry is Clay... On Logan once again. It's a lot of health off on Logan. If Logan isn't careful, Katarina will dive him, and it looks like she's going to go for it. She does get it. It's a lot of damage coming out from Katarina. Blake comes fine with Darius, but he's not going to be able to fight him. Darius will just be able to get these six stacks of hemorrhage off, and he's going to do a lot of damage from the bleed. Does not dot tower off, however, but Blake is walking back up and maybe allowing Darius to get another hit on him. Blake does decide to recall. Katarina might get this mid lane tower. Doesn't look like she will. She is going to fall back for now, and Matt's going to be there to defend. But if Matt isn't careful, Katarina will dive him ju just the same as she dives Logan. Go. Seems to be standing in a standstill at essentially all lanes right now. Blake does flash away from the Darius, but Darius might still follow. He does not. They don't get the bottom lane tries to get in the cage, but they're unable to succeed. And Darius is going in on Blake, and Blake's taking a lot of damage. He does use the ultimate, but he's not gonna be able to get out. Yeah. Darius does get the kill with the flash ultimate. And Matt does end up falling as well to Katarina. Katarina now has eight kills and has and has uh, near two items in only fifteen minutes of the game. Exact Gunblade and Vanya's Hourglass is not a cheap item combination, so very, very interesting to see that she already has that much gold. And they have soared above a 7,000 gold bleed on Henry Clay. As they're starting to get this Rift Herald here, that's going to make a huge dent in Wolves Wide as well. And as 
power plating just fell a minute ago, they're going to be able to use that Rift Herald to probably get two towers in one lane that they choose to push. Bottom lane is getting poked down a lot just from the Sivir Ricochet. They're not even really going all in, but the Sivir Ricochet is doing a lot of damage that you would not normally expect from Sivir right now. Sivir does seem to be playing a lot better than she did last time. Two kills on my team, and they're both on Blake Blackburn. It is a tank, so it's not going to be anything too insane. Looks like Katarina's coming behind the bot lane. They are going to decide to go in. Leona starts off the dive. They do get the Kaiza and immediately gets to Leona right after, and Leona does end up taking all that, but only getting down to half health. They're not able to do a thing there. Kaiser has Stormraiser first item, which is very interesting considering Stormraiser fell out of the meta a lot recently. Matt is going in, but Darius has the hammer stacks on both of them. He doesn't end up getting the Zijao, and he's actually going on Blake as well. And Blake's able to trade, but not for long, as they do end up killing Blake. And as I mentioned before, they use that Rift Herald to get two towers, and potentially even an inhibitor tower at only 16 minutes into the game. You get a half health, and Katarina is just diving Logan, and they do end up just killing Logan immediately. And Jarvan's still taking the tower. He may die from it, but he does not end up going down, so they're able to kill the tower quick enough. Um, inhibitor is going down. Blake Halsey flashes away from the Katarina and heals. All Katarina did there was ultimate, and he got both of those crucial summoner spells from Blake Halsey. And Rift Herald is pushing onto the tower, does over half of its health before they end up knocking it down. So they're down an inhibitor now, and it's only 17 minutes to the game, and it's going to be very unfortunate and hard for them to come back. It seems like Sivir and Katarina is going for that mid lane tower, and they are able to get a lot of it down before the white team gets there. And Blake Blackburn doesn't end up going in. Kaiza is soon to follow. She might ulti in, but it'd be very risky if he does. Now they're pushing mid lane. Instead of defending the super minions, they're soon coming down bottom lane. Henry Clay may to turn out to rotate down to bottom and take advantage of those super minions. Now it does look like there's a big fight coming to mid lane. Blake does fall down. Logan goes in, and Matt goes in. So he dies as well. Logan and uh, Dylan gets caught out, and they both go down, leaving just Blake Halsey to defend. They have a lot of these turrets down mid lane, and not much that white team can do in this situation. Katarina is 10-0, and Darwin 2-0. Sivir 4-0, and Leona ended up sneaking in a kill and stealing it from her ADC. And up, keep pushing down mid lane, and they looks like they are able to get this tower. Blake Halsey is still there to defend whenever it comes to the Nexus turrets, and Matt, Blake, and Dylan has have respawned, and so is Logan. So it looks like they might try to push out mid lane, but they have super minions to take care of in bottom lane. So they are not going to be able to push out mid lane right now. They are... Just clearing minions out right now, as there is not much they can do. Baron does spawn in 1 minute and 20 seconds at 20 minutes into the game. It's going to be very tough if Henry Clay does get that Baron. But right now, they've just reset. They bought almost a full another item each. It's going to be very, very hard for White Team to defend anything that Henry Clay decides to do right now. Two kills to 23, and it just seems to be snowballing more and more out of control. And with almost a, a 15,000 gold lead, uh, Henry Clay has definitely got the upper hand in this point in the match. Certainly tough, if not impossible, to come back from. But it has been done before in professional matches. Blake also does get caught out, and he does die from Katarina, almost one-shotting him. Dylan Prophet does get caught out as well, and he gets perma CC to his death. Good pull by Darius. Unfortunate for the white team, but not very much they can do. They would have to play very, very careful to be able to do anything in this game. Their Darius does end up still going past the towers, almost into the inhibitor tower, but just pokes down like Blackburn and decides to back off. 